All right, hello and welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Uh, today, let's check out kind of how to build a scene. Um, this is really cool because uh, with just some basic effects and some you know simple geometry and some simple shaders, you can kind of create a world of your own. And um, this is kind of a starting point. I have this video on loop right here, so I hope it shows up okay over YouTube. But anyway, as you can see, there's some particles flying out there. That's a little bit of an explosion uh, dynamics effect. And then it crews off into space. But immediately I notice that there's things that are kind of wrong with this scene. And um, we're going to go in and correct those. But um, for the moment, let me stop this for a second. Um, in this scene, I created some paint effect strokes. And here's a galaxy paint effect strokes, and this is just some uh, a blue gas or a galaxy blue gas something or other. <laughs> okay, nothing too complicated. Uh, then I have two spheres, this one here and this one here. They're kind of like the satellites, and then I just rotated those on the y-axis, you know, uh, 360 degrees or 720 or whatever as they kind of move through the scene. Um, but I, I needed to fix this because essentially um, this one is not spinning right now so if I go ahead and play forward you can see where it's just sitting there and there should be a reaction so this should go flying off into space or something you know something a little more unusual than <laughs> just seeing it sit there in space okay so anyway um, I had to render these out at, as two different um, sequences um, this one down here is the mental ray render and this one up here the galaxy and the stars and stuff is through the Maya software and there's a reason that you have to do that that's because these are called paint effect strokes and they're only rendered in the Maya software um, render portion so I composited these two together in After Effects um, output the same image sequence and I was good to go so anyway just a, a starting point for a scene but it kind of gives you an idea that you can really do a lot with Maya, right? You know, just with some real simple knowledge of some particles and some some surfaces and some paint effect strokes, which is really kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like in Maya. Um, this this scene, anyway. Let's open it up, and as you'll notice here these are the paint effect strokes and um, there's a tutorial on on creating paint effect strokes so just go back and watch that anyway got some blue gas got some galaxy and that's kind of what you're seeing here in the wider picture um, down here is my model um, is a little craft that's coming through the scene let's just maybe focus on that hit F on the keyboard um, so yeah that's kind of what it is uh, let's get out of that view for a sec now I'm in my perspective view so that's good I think I can just kind of look at what's going on so here's here's the craft um, I just have a blin assigned to it no big deal um, this is just something I, I just kind of started with a shape it could have a lot more detail but in this case I'm, I'm not really worried about detail right here I just want to kind of go through the beginning stages of making something look really cool and quickly so anyway that's what that is. Now you can see down here I've got a plane and I basically just deformed the geometry a little bit. I think I was just like in vertex mode and you know just kind of work yourself around the scene and uh, you know pull some points up or down. Um, I also probably used a little bit of soft modification but that was about it. Um, and you'll notice that when you're working with um, a plane and especially if it's just a kind of a drop away plane or, or a plane that we're just going to get fall off on the edges is, is kind of just distort your edges around here a little bit and you know in your render you can kind of see what it's going to do um, let's just do a quick render now depending on how you have your settings set your render times are going to start to take a lot of hits especially if you have um, 3D textures going on, um, if you have, you know, particle effects, uh, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, here's what I'm getting as a render so far. And as you can see, that simple plane, 
Uh, you have room in the black to composite against back here in After Effects, so that's always something to keep in mind. Is that you know when you have an alpha channel and you got black and that's you know transparent, that's really cool. So anyway, that's what that's all about. Um, let's take another look here. Yeah, the plane. You know, just distort your edges and you'll get a nice kind of fall off effect. And that's just a starting point. So anyway. Let's uh, zoom out here. I've got a light that I animated uh, right here. Let's come in here to the spotlight. And this spotlight right here uh, basically is throwing out this color because it's kind of mimicking the you know, explosion going on up here. So you know, the light turns on at a certain time and then I animated its values a little bit you know, as it kind of vacillates back and forth between a little bit hotter in color temperature and lower so that's it and uh, let's see um, let's take a look at the cameras I have three different cameras set up here and you kinda see them <clears throat> there's one right there and uh, you can set up as many camera angles as you want uh, there's a couple back here one there and one there so anyway um, you can set those cameras up any way you want. I think in this case, I'll uh, let's see, I'll just sort of select them here, and we'll just do a little bit of playing. So I have one that's kind of creeping into the scene from this side, and then one from behind back here, which is kind of catching the back view. And there you go. So in, I've already corrected this flying off into space. So as you can see, those particles are coming out and now it has a bump and that kind of sends it off into space. And I can adjust the keyframing later. It just sort of gives me a good starting point. <clears throat> so anyway, that's kind of how it's looking in the wireframe. And uh, let's take a different view over here. Um, as you can see, the this right here on the, on the craft, um, I'll go back into the Maya software render and let's take a render right now in this Maya and we'll see kind of what it looks like um, you can see where I have like that red shader it has like a, a heavy glow and um, we'll come up in here into the uh, let's see let's get a hyper shade out and I'm going to show you it's basically just a, a, a Lambert right here Lambert 10 and it has uh, has a little bit of transparency going on so nothing nothing too big there and then I think I set the glow up a little bit um, yeah yeah that's where it's set so anyway no big deal <laughs> no big deal uh, you can play around with your settings, of course, you know, on your transparency levels and whatnot. Um, in this case, uh, let's see what it looks like in, in Mental Ray. I'm going to take the same render in Mental Ray. And we'll take a look and see if we can make that look a little bit better. But yeah, it's just kind of about working a scene and looking at what you have, looking at your shadows, kind of examining everything, you know, about, you know, the scene in itself. And that's a better look for 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 what what I'm I'm looking for there. But I think even if I bring the transparency down a little bit more, or up a little bit more, yeah, let's bring it up a little bit more. I think that's about what I'm looking for. So, anyway, you get the idea. It's just basically you know uh, grabbing some particles. Um, I think in this particle reaction, I just have a basic emitter and they're just emitting in the downward negative y and let's take a look at that um, so anyway nothing big going on with texturing there uh, yeah, as you can see I got a couple other these are for the windows it's just sort of like a greenish glass and that's about it so let's take a look at let's take a look at that um, okay so you can see the particles let's get to the particles right there and I'm gonna select these particles and show you what's going on with these um, 
Okay, right here, um, the particles themselves um, are just a, sh a streak type particle. And, um, you know, there's nothing really big going on other than they, um, you can assign them with like a various, in this case, I have a, um, a shader that I assigned them. And um, you can assign all sorts of different colored shaders. I mean, it, it, it's no, it's always up to you, of course. But in this case, um, I think I believe I put the Lambert 2 on there. And it has the ramp shade on it. And let's see if I, and, and these are basically the selected colors of my ramp shader. Um, it's sort of up to you what, what colors you want to make them, but that's kind of what I did is just assign them with this, you know, Lambert 2. And I put a ramp shader on Lambert 2, and that's what the ramp is. So anyway, it's a starting point just to kind of give me an idea and the calculations of, you know, kind of what, what it would look like. Uh, not necessarily saying this is a good effect because this is sort of, it needs some blobs in there. It needs some other stuff to make it look really real. So anyway, that's what we're looking at there. Now let's spin around a little bit and see if I can find anything else interesting. Um, my lighting in the scene is fairly simple. I have a little point light there. And over here, I've got another little point light. And what those kind of do are add, they just sort of add a little bit more light to this area and throw it up underneath the craft. So it, um, these red uh, glows on the window come out a little bit better that way. And they don't necessarily affect the whole scene. So anyway, I'll probably want to turn the shadows off and keep the shadows off on those. Um, in this case, uh, ray trace shadows are on. And, you know, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. I, I suppose I could um, render these out a hundred different ways and, you know, try and see what, what it actually looks like as I, you know, change the shadows. But I don't think shadows are necessarily needed on here. So uh, to optimize the scene, the shadows from there probably will be turned off. Um, anyway. So that's kind of the mental ray render at the moment. But you can see where it's just sort of, you know, a little bit of motion blur on this stuff would look good. Um, you know, a little bit of uh, some blobs or something else. Um, so this particle effect may have to be reworked, but, you know, essentially it's pretty easy to do. So that's kind of where I'm at there. All right. So let's take another spin around let's actually look at this thing one more time um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my other windows and let's hide Maya and let's open up this guy again all right so there it is um, a particle effect and that's kind of the starting point and uh, yeah So it gives you a pretty good idea what's going on and how easy it, it is to really create a scene, you know? I mean, just use your imagination because that's what it's all about. All right. So, hey, thanks for stopping in. I hope you had a good time with this Freeform Friday tutorial. And uh, <laughs> as always, uh, read a book, okay? And I learn something every day. And just be a great person, all right? Great. Thanks for watching.